So, my story begins in the Grand Cayman Islands with my family. So, as you guys know, if you have been on any kind of cruises, whenever you do a stop, you can pick from many different excursions that are available. Well, it just happened to be that in the Grand Cayman Islands, one of the most popular excursions is the Stingray excursion. Now, it did take some convincing because, as you know, black people don't tend to do risky things with your life. My mom did a pretty good job convincing us. I mean, when you really take into account that our ages range from 16 to 75, we agreed to get into the water with some stingrays. What family does that? From the dock, we departed into our sailboat. And this is when things started to take off. So you know, we were already nervous thinking that we are going to be jumping in this water. It was really apparent how dangerous this activity really was when our captain started telling us what we should and should not do. Just a friendly reminder that these are not your average stingrays. These stingrays have been raised in the wild. You will not see these stingrays at SeaWorld. These animals can be territorial, and if you step on one, they would see it as a threat. Their stingers will flick up and will stick you with poison that can kill you. So please watch your step. So at this point, my family was on edge, as you might say. Now, Remember we are on a boat and we are not swimming to a little ca captivity area for the stingrays, no. We are swimming to the middle of the ocean. The middle of the ocean. You look north, south, east, west, it's all water and waves. There is nothing out there. So the area that we are going to for the stingrays is at a sandbar and a sandbar is kind of just a heightened area of sand. To help us they gave us snorkeling gear so we can still like swim. And we finally arrived to the location and at the location we could see about 15 boats bobbing up and down in the water. And this is a moment where me and my family truly knew that we made a mistake. As you look into the water of the splashing children, families, mothers, women, everybody. There is not one black person there. Not one. But you turn around at my boat and there are eight of us in this boat, okay? So when we docked and they put down the anchor, everybody on my boat just hopped into the water like it was nothing. They were going swimming, they were Olympic swimmers, they were having a good time. But guess who was stuck on this boat re-examining their entire life's purpose? That's right, my family. So I just happened to look over this boat and y'all, all I saw was shadows moving underneath the water. I don't even know what they looked like. They did not look like some flipping stingrays because they were massive. Massive materia. One of my family members was just like, I spent way too much money for this experience to not even do this. I'm going into this water and I'm going to swim in some stingrays today, okay? And that is what started this chain reaction of people in my family jumping into the water. So first it was my cousin, then it was my aunt, and then I had some cousins go in. And then after my cousins went in, my grandmother went in. So when I saw my grandmother woe in, I was like, okay, see now this is this is too much now. Half of my family is now swimming like fishes in the water. Other half of my family is still on this boat, including me, my brother, my mother, and my aunt. My mother, my brother, and I are trying to convince my aunt to get into this water with us, like all at the same time. But she has other plans. Janet, just get into the water. You know how to swim. Yes, Julie, I know how to swim, but... <sighs> But you spent all this money for this activity and you're not even going. I know I'm going to get my money's worth today. Just watching you guys from the boat. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> Have fun. So my Auntie Janet was out. That left me, my brother, and my mother. My mother was the next person to go in this water. And she went in and she disappeared. This is not going to happen. I'm not going to make myself look like a fool any longer up here on this boat. So I am getting in this water right now. And yeah, that's what happened. I walked down the ladder into the water. And that moment before I let go into the water was the most scariest moment of my life at that point. 
I gripped onto that ladder like it was no tomorrow, bobbing up and down the water just like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? At that point, I made a mental plan. My goal at that point was to get to my mom, to swim to my mom, and then swim back to the boat, and I'll be good. If I could get that far, I'm good. I'm done. I could check swimming with the stingrays off my checklist, blah, I'm good. So my strategy to achieve this goal was to swim at the top of the ocean, like literally like with my butt sticking out of the ocean. Using the snorkel gear that they gave us, I will keep my head down in the water, look out for stingrays, and avoid all the stingrays that come across my path. And since I'm so, so close to the top, nothing should touch me, right? That was the plan. So I got myself ready and I started the journey to my mother. So I'm over here swimming. And y'all, at this moment, I happen to look above me and I saw the biggest stingray swimming towards me. When I tell you that all hell broke loose at that moment, I was flipping and flopping like a fish out of water, y'all. I just grabbed off the first thing that I could reach. And that just happened to be this old man that was on the boat with us. Y'all, I wrapped my arms and my legs around his body like there was no tomorrow. Mind you, again, I do not know this man, but he knew me. And see, we, we had this connection because he knew, he knew the struggle. He knew that all the black people were all together and that we were part of this family. So he was like, do you want me to take you to your mom? <laughs> Yes. So he brings me over to my mom and I transfer over from him to my mother. And so now I have my arms and my legs wrapped around my mom. And remember, she can't reach the bottom of the ocean. So she's over here like trying to swim, supporting my weight because I don't want to, I don't want to move. I don't want to accidentally kick one of these things and like, like it poke me. So now it's me on my mother and now we are slowly headed back to the boat. And on our journey towards the boat, we see this old man that I grabbed onto come towards us again. But guess who he has on his back? He has my brother on his back. So now my brother hops on to the front of my mom. So picture this. You have my mother and two grown children on the back and on the front, scared of the stupid stingrays in the water. So we're over here looking like a fool, and my mom's almost drowning trying to support us because we don't want to move in this ocean. <laughs> we don't want to move. I don't even know how, how long I was in the water. I don't know how long it took us to get back to the boat. I just know that somehow, some way, we got to the boat and I was done. I'm done with stingrays. I'm done with sharks. I will never go swimming with none of these things ever again in my life. Like, never. Again, I don't know how people do it. Like I can't, I can't even see myself swimming with fishes. Like I get so scared. Mm. To just put the cherry on top of that amazing, fun-filled day, it just happened to be the same day that was the captain's dinner. And if if you've been on a cruise, you know the captain's dinner is the most fanciest and classiest dinner you want to be at. So we are like looking good okay my ha whole family is like dressed the nines so we're on this elevator and we are hoping that nobody recognizes the only black people who were making a fool of themselves swimming with the stingrays and then this older couple comes onto the elevator he turned around and he looked at us and he asked were you guys at the stingray bay the most embarrassing moment Oh. Anyways, that is my crazy stingray story time. Uh, yeah, I know that, that, that the stingray excursion is a pretty popular one. Let me know, have you guys been on it and did you have a similar experience to mine? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next video. Bye! <laughs>